God's overwhelming love for his people. Secondly, why would you do that? Oh, I'm sure we've all seen people do really unexpected things, haven't we? Uh, imagine if, if Charlotte Cole's little boy had started throwing things at her as soon as he saw her rather than running to her. And, and instead of flinging his arms around her, ran the other way instead, despite how much Charlotte clearly loves him. That would have been unexpected. And you would ask, why would you do that? Well, why would you do that? Look with me at the end of verse two and following. Let me read for us again. God had prepared the land and he planted his bit vineyard for them. Uh, then he looked for a crop of good grapes, but it yielded only bad fruit. Now you dwellers in Jerusalem and people of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. What more could have been done for my vineyard than I've done for it? When I look for good grapes, why did it yield only bad? A few years back, we uh, went to a supermarket. I won't tell you which one, but it's very yellow. And we bought one of those pre-packaged uh, uh, pots of uh, diced up melon and some grapes in there. It looked lovely. We we're going to have it after our tea. It was a hot summer's day. So some uh, cold melon and grapes would have been a great thing to have. Opened the top. It looked lovely. Smelt great. Put a grape in my mouth. Ugh, yuck. It tasted almost fizzy. It had gone off. And they were all sour and fizzy. Yucky. The grapes had gone bad. And that's what had happened to the people of Judah in the vineyard, in the land that he'd put them. They'd gone off. They'd started to turn away from God. The God who loved them so much. Why would you do that? Seems crazy, doesn't it? Uh, we've read all about how they were living uh, and living for themselves and treading on other people and being nasty in, in chapters one to three. So we don't need to go over that again, do we? It's enough to say that their lives didn't match up at all to God's character and didn't respond whatsoever to the love that God had shown to them and continued to show to them. They'd stopped even trying to live his way. And that was bringing God's character into disrepute. You see, if the nations around looked at God's people, they might start judging God by the actions of his people. You probably heard it, haven't you? If Christians are like that, then I can't believe in their God. They're all hypocrites. So God says through Isaiah in verse three, look with me. Now you dwellers in Jerusalem, people of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. Make your mind up, he's saying. You don't have to copy the hypocrites. And you don't have to turn your back on me because my people have turned nasty. Look what I've done for them. Uh, make up your own mind, God says. Is it me or is it them who's got it wrong? Judge between us. What do you think? Was it God or was it God's people who'd gone wrong? It was the people, wasn't it? What's the rub of this for us here? Well, if you're a Christian, why would you do that? Why on earth would you ignore God and live your life as if he didn't exist? Why on earth do I do that sometimes? It's not good, is it? He's given his one and only son for you, for me. He's given us more than we could possibly ever ask or imagine. And yet. I need to keep reminding myself uh, of how crazy it is to go my own way. I need to do that all the time. Because I don't know about you, but I'm forgetful. I forget what God's done for me. I need to preach the gospel to myself every day. And when I get things wrong, which I do, when I don't live God's way, I have to come back to him and say sorry. And probably say sorry to a whole bunch of other people as well. 
Uh, what if you're somebody who's watching on, who wouldn't necessarily call yourself a Christian at the moment? Uh, perhaps you're watching over someone's shoulder online, or you can just hear this in the background uh, from the other side of somebody's laptop. Or maybe you've stumbled across our website today. If you're watching on and you've had a bad experience of church or, or of Christians, judge between God and his people. Uh, don't tar him with the brush that we so often deserve ourselves. It's not his fault. Christians get it wrong some of the time. It's not good. We shouldn't. We need to ask for God's help to do better and we need to strive to do better. And besides, just like there were in Judah, there are plenty of people who claim to be Christians who actually aren't at all, aren't there? Just think back if you're old enough to the troubles in Northern Ireland with Protestants against Catholics, both saying they're, they're Christians, but blowing one another up. Don't tar God with the brush that we sometimes deserve. So why would you do that? Why would you turn your back on God? Why would you turn away from God when he's done so much for you? It would be crazy, wouldn't it? Well, we're going to sing again, then we'll come back for our last bit. <laughs> 